Noctikala here again. This is part two of my series Asexuality in a Film. Uh, today's topic is basically gonna be European and cheating. It's like, yeah, basically. So, first, I'm gonna talk about this movie called Stricken. It's also known as Love Life. And I think it's Dutch original title, which I do not know, uh, translates to A Woman Goes to a Doctor. That a dog, like a joke. Uh, so, this is basically a story about this man who works at an ad agency. And she meets this woman, and they fell in love, they have sex, they fell in love, they get married, they have a daughter. Uh, but unfortunately, this dude is very, very slutty. He's just gonna stop cheating. She was, is very angry about it, but then she eventually just lets it go. Or like, accept it, okay, I love this man, but he can't keep it in his pants, so I'm just gonna try to deal with it. And then she goes to the doctor, and she has breast cancer. And so she basically dies throughout the, like, something like the second half of the movie. And, like, he's very sad about it. And he comfort you, you meets this woman, she's some kind of artist, and games comfort with her, and almost, I don't think he falls in love with her or, or anything, but, like, yeah. It's kind of man painy. <laughs> movie if you remember the word because it's all how oh, very sad like oh my wife is mad at me that i can't keep it in my pants oh my wife is dying from breast cancer oh my young daughter is mad at me because her mother is mad at me stuff like that like he's it's not very likable and the reason i am talking about this and i've probably mentioned this before is this a sidekick named frank or oh, frank one of those. Um, maybe there's a difference in maybe in Dutch is Frank. Anyway, uh, he is uh, asexual, possibly. He's the main dude's best friend and kind of trying to keep him in check, trying to keep him in line. And at some point, he introduces him, uh, like, as in voiceover, is like, This is my best friend Frank. He's, uh, he has no libido. He doesn't care about fucking the take those people like that exist we are like polar opposites but we are still very good friends uh so i can't really recommend necessarily recommend this movie frank isn't there very much and like he's very unlikable if you so yeah that's very short and then the second movie of this video ikidos Oh no, thanks. I don't know what to do, how I should change the angle, so can you can actually probably read everything in the right, right way? No? Okay. So, anyway, I've mentioned this before plenty of times, and I talked about this uh, a little bit more in my Finnish language video I made recently. Uh, so this is about a married couple, played by... Ville Virtanen and Anu Sinisalo. It's based on the book by Anna-Lena Härkönen. This ekitas means no thanks. And the premise is what if the husband was the one who didn't want to have sex or who was fit holding sex or something like that. And it can sound kind of iffy <laughs> when you frame it like that. Uh, but uh, this is more comedic and maybe a bit more nuanced than what that makes it sound. Uh, like, and I will say that if you have seen Border Town, the TV series in Finnish, it's sorry, and then, uh, they uh, play your uh, husband and wife in that one, in that show too. So basically, the storyline is she is very frustrated sexually. She says that if it was up to her husband, he would have sex like once every four weeks. So, uh, such I think he is maybe somewhere in the crazy sexuality spectrum. At least that's what makes sense for me. And then she is a German teacher at some kind of, I don't know, folk college. I don't know what you would call it in English. But it's a concept in Finland. 
So anyway, she's DJ German. And for some reason, this fuckboy musician, 28-year-old, comes to her lessons and he starts flirting and she's very sexually frustrated, so they start fucking. And uh, let me look at my notes a little bit. Um, and I do think it's kind of interesting that a lot of these movies, uh, lots of time in media, when you have a 40-something woman who's going through a midnight, midnight crisis or is going through a divorce and stuff like that. All the younger men that they get with are always in their 20s. Like they are, even the US movie, new movie, the IDF use that they do it is like 24, but usually they are 26, 28. But they are always still the, oh, this is so young. And frankly, I do think that it's kind of young. Like those years, those 16, 15, 14, 12 years can make a big difference. But it considering all, all the characters and in real life, a lot of men, when they go through the midlife crisis, they start training, dating 18 year olds, just going just slow as possible. So it's really weird, kind of weird that they have this, like women never go that, are never really shown as going that low. So it's just weird tang tangent that I thought, because like this belongs into that same realm of things, like the idea of you, younger, and a girlfriend's guide to divorce. So, uh, like, I think it was what's interesting about this movie because it's, uh, it kind of gets more into like a sex is a form of intimacy, and the issue is this that they don't have sex, then it's that they don't have other types of intimacy, like it's like after he gets off work. He just started playing video games and like they don't really spend time. So it's not just that they're not having sex, it's that they don't have, they're lacking in other types of intimacy. Like they both, they have a teenage daughter who goes away for the summer and they love her a lot and they're good parents, but they're just not very connected as husband and wife at the time. So that's why she starts fuck, fucking this fuckboy. And then it, towards the end of the movie, it's it's revealed that he is has a female friend who he met through video games or whatever and they talk about lo lots of things through emails and she's kind of feeling like this is emotional cheating and I'm not quite sure if that's the case or if you should treat it like that uh, but I do think it's kind of gets into the interesting discussion about what would count as emotional cheating and uh, is it worse than physical cheating and like i don't know it's kind of, i think it's it's an enjoyable movie to me and i think it has some i think it, it's interesting because like it lets the kind of lets the man be non-sexual and the woman can be sexual <laughs> hope that sounded right he's non-sexual she's very sexual and like that is a discussion that we should have, like when you have different types of libidos, and then that can create an issue in the relationship, even if there's no different sexualities involved. And then sometimes it's at age, they are in the 40s, they're just not they're necessarily gonna have as much sex. Uh, so, yeah, that's some of, some of my thoughts on. Uh, this, like in this movie, they are not necessarily good ha husband and wife, but they are good parents, and in the end, they feel like that's the most important. So maybe they will divorce like in a couple of years, years once their daughter is of age. Uh, generally, about these two movies, uh, there's lots of sex scenes in both of them. In Stricken, it's all very European and like, <laughs> uh, like a uh, Lots of like normal bodies, like normal, small, thin, pretty bodies, but anyway. Uh, so, like, nudity is very normal in Stricken. And there's lots of like fancy sex scenes, and because he's he's very slutty. Uh, uh, but in Enkitos, there's also there's sexy sex scenes, and there's uh, uh, also awkward sex scenes. <laughs> so, that might be worse. Like, it's 
Some of it's titillating, some of it's not meant to not meant to be titillating. So like if you do not care for sex scenes at all, neither one of these are for you. Because like there is a lots of nudity. And I think part of they have the uh, uh, cheating is cheating. But it's something that can be more than physical, like it's the aspect like the wife accepts that okay, my husband is gonna uh, sleep around, but as long as he doesn't he doesn't fall in love with anyone else, I'm I'm gonna cope with that. And then there's like both of them when it's revealed that they, and then in Aegidos, when the husband reveals that okay, I have this friend that I've been talking about all all these emotional things. He's like, but why don't you do talk about these emotional things with me i feel like this is emotionally cheating like are you in love with her why are you talking to other women about us uh and then he's like okay you but you've been fucking someone else like uh, like both of them are like treated treated as like symptoms of the issues in the marriage like and there's lots of type of cheating and you can accept one type and not the other and stuff like that i don't know uh what the, these movies say about asexuality in film? Not really much. Like, uh, like I said, asexuality is mentioned and acknowledged, which is kind of nice, I would say. Uh, and like Frank is positive character. Like he's always trying to get the husband to do the right thing and like be there for his daughter and stuff like that. So like he's a good person. He's not there much, but he's a He's a decent person and like he's not a bad person because he's asexual or whatever or he's like different. Uh, and then Aikidos, what does it say? Like asexual, oh it's kind of like with Aikidos asexual is like, I don't know, it's a possibility, like it's a possible reading of what the issue is between these two characters, that there's a difference in sexuality but it also might be a difference in libidos in a it might be an age issue uh, but it also the talks about like different forms of intimacy like sex is one form of intimacy but they are like like in other types of physical intimacy they don't like talk they don't really have anything much of, they don't really have that much things in common so it's like uh, there's different forms of intimacy and like sex is just one of them even though it, for many people it's a very important one and yeah, like I can say I thought this was really interesting because it's like yeah the premise of a, what if the man doesn't want sex this is a comedy <laughs> what if that was a comedy is kind of iffy but I did like that she was allowed to be a very sexual being and have sexual needs which we don't always accept and then he got to be not as sexual uh so i like this movie i don't really like this movie uh i think that was it for me for this video uh so see you in the next one bye